Hi, um, today I'm going to show you just a basic understanding of methods. And methods are um, definitely the best way to go. Um, they help refactor your code, make sure it's all neat and tidy and everything's separated into um, the areas in which uh, you can best like manage your code because code cleanliness is um, the best way to go. Uh, so I've just created a uh, local variable starting int just made that 10 and if you want to create a new method um, just let's go ahead and enter down here a bit and we're gonna make it a private void uh, do calculation and then we want basically what this is private it can be private public or a few other things um, Private means that uh, this method can only be accessed from form1.cs from this class. If it's public, that means this method can also be accessed from any other class that creates a new object instance of form1. But um, that'll be covered in a few of my other tutorials since it's a little bit complicated. Um, the second thing here is what uh, this method returns. If it's void, that means it returns nothing. And you can replace this with int or string or whatever if you want it to actually return something and I'll explain that a little bit uh, more in the future. Um, do calculation is just the name of it and um, <clears throat> in these parentheses is what this method accepts when you call it. So in here we want to provide it with starting int so what we're gonna do is do calculation and give it starting int. So that means we need in this parentheses to do int uh, receiving int or you can call it whatever you want and then open and close bracket <coughs> and basically what this will do it'll take this value of 10 and it will be given into uh, do calculations so whenever we recall receiving int we know that will equal 10 So we can just have a label or something just to show this. Just to show you that how starting int is passed to receiving int. And then receiving int is then pushed into the label one.txt. See how it's 10. All right. So let's actually do something with this. So instead of just pushing this receiving int into um, the label, let's actually do a calculation. Let's say multiply it by two. So let's do a new int, receiving int times two. And say we want to return this back to the original button click method. Then we're gonna do return multiply int. We have to do a few things first. First we have to change this from void to int because this is the return type. And then we also have to capture this uh, return multiply int by doing something like int returned int equals. And because we set this equal to a method that returns an int, then this returned int will have the value of 20. So let's show you that by putting it into the string. So if this works correctly, let's go ahead and put a breakpoint in here just to show you like what's actually going on. We'll click the button. All right, we have our starting int and I'm just going to step through this. And then it's going to go since we're calling the method here, it's going to jump down here. And the receiving int is 10, which was what we gave it starting it. Then we're going to have the multiply int, it's going to be 20. Now we're returning the multiply int, which means this return int is going to turn it 20. 20. And then we set the text to the string. And let's stop this there. Alright, what else can I show you guys? Um, let's go ahead and add a new class just to show you the public and private just name it class one 
we're going to put a method in here. It's going to be public do another calculation. And this will be public, so it can be accessed from form one. And it's int because it's going to return an int value. And let's see, incoming int, int incoming int. And then what we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to take incoming int, we're going to multiply it by three. Let's just do incoming int equals incoming int multiplied by three. And then we're going to return incoming int. So this will just multiply this by 3 and return it. And since it's public, we can go over and go here. Let's just get rid of this. First, we have to create an instance of the class 1, class and object of it. So class 1, then we just name it whatever. I'll just name it CS equals new class 1. And then in order to call this public, where is it? Call this public method. You just do cs dot do another calculation. Let's provide it with the starting int. And now it should be multiplied by 3, so 30 should show up. There you go. And if we actually change this to private, just to show you what public and private do, this would not work. Inaccessible due to its protection level, just to show you kind of how public and private works. Hopefully you guys understood that. Um, and that's just a basic understanding of public, private, and methods, and even using different classes. Um, I'm going to go into m more in-depth in that in my other tutorials, but um, if you have any other questions or have any other tutorials you want to see from me, uh, make sure to leave a comment and subscribe to my videos, and make sure to visit my website, which is in my description. This is Quackware signing out.